in previous videos we looked at projectiles going straight up in the air and straight back down but what if they're projected in this direction here so if they were we're back to our vectors given i and j axis which you know is the equivalent of x and y we'll be calling them both i'll just extend this a little bit let's say this is our vector this direction and let's say it's 40 in the i direction shall change that around i'll do 25 in the i direction and 40 in the j direction so we'd write our initial vector u as 25 25 watt 25 in the i direction plus 40 in the j direction and we have an angle in here let's call it the angle a so if we think of gravity in this question gravity still exists down in this direction as before so gravity only affects the j direction so if we keep gravity as or acceleration as minus 10 ms meters per second squared this will take four seconds to slow down to zero and there will be no change in the i direction so 25i plus 30j will be when t is equal to one and i'm going to put these into the table here just to show you so time one two three four it's going to be eight seconds we have our vector I'll say time is equal to zero. We had 25i plus 40j. After one second, it's going to be 25i plus 30j. You should have an understanding of why there's no change in i with gravity. 25i plus 20j. Keep going with these. What would you say it's happening at this point with 25i plus 0j? it's reached its max height and it's about to come back down so the j's are positive going up but then on the way back down they're going to be negative so we're going to have 25i minus 10j 25i minus 20j that's a plus zero there 25i minus 30j and 25i minus 40j at eight seconds now what about the speeds we had speed in the last video the speed is the magnitude the magnitude of 25i plus 40j and the magnitude of this is just the square root of it it's pythagoras let's do it in reverse here 40 squared plus 25 squared if you do these all the way down, I'm just going to write them in here. 47, I'm going to round them off. This is the initial. After one second, I'm going to get 39. Then 32. Then 27. Then 25. At this max point here, velocity be 25 with the 0j. And then it mirrors off on the other side. 27, 32, 39, and 47. And this would be velocity in meters per second now let's look at the angles as well so the angle if we look at any vector we want this angle we have 25 in the i direction and 40 in the j direction we have the two straight sides so we'd say the tan of a is opposite over adjacent so to get a we say the inverse tan you can see why trig is important the inverse tan of a will be the a will be the inverse tan of 40 over 25 and on a calculator that will come out for the initial angle to be 58 degrees and then the inverse tan of 30 over 25 50 you should see what's happening with these angles the inverse tan of 20 over 25 39 10 over 25 is 22 
at this point the inverse tan what would happen the inverse tan of 0 over 25 you're going to get 0 degrees so 0 and then it mirrors off on the other side we'd be getting negative angles going down minus 22 degrees just rub this out minus 39 degrees minus 50 degrees and then it should strike at a similar angle minus 58 degrees at impact so just have to get the speed at any time the angle at any time and we'll have a look at a couple of more things here with the range and the max height back to the question okay the range we'll just do another sketch here the max height so the range is this one along here my x direction and the max height is the displacement in the j direction there's a couple of ways to do it if we have the time taken to get here we have t is equal to four from the table don't we time is equal to the four at the max height and the angle is zero so if we want to get s of x first say we can put our zero and our eight on because of the symmetry of the curve s of x has no a so s of x from now on will always be just equal to ut really simple thing to get to know so 25 times 8 is 200 meters for the range for x and the displacement in the y direction ut plus a half at squared you can see i write it every time is going to be 40 times 4 because we're looking for max height up here so this is the max height and then minus if you want to put it in here we can change half a to minus 5 times t squared so you're going to get 160 minus 80 the max height in this case 80 meters so i'll give you a couple of these to try and then in the next video we look at maybe bringing the initial speed and angles into these questions so a kind of short one try this one 12i plus 60j take acceleration again to be minus 10 ms to the minus 2 and just uh, answer the five questions down the bottom no need for all the angles and all the speeds just five little short questions for you and then move on to the next video